So the U.S. women's soccer team, after they all collectively took a knee, something that I've criticized because it doesn't do anything for anybody, but um, after you all collectively took a knee, you all then collectively took an L. And make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button before you get into this video. And thank you to our sponsor, A-Game, the herbal male solution that promotes strength, energy, vitality, and libido. This is A-Game. Fast acting, long lasting, with no side effects. Make sure you get into the description box and click on the link below to get 10% off your next order of a game. So going into the Tokyo games, the US women's team was 44 and 0 winning streak. So obviously they were favored to win the gold medal for the United States, but instead they ended up getting uh, swept 3-0 against Sweden. The US women's soccer team, they're known for at this point being a very woke team, being a team that is focused on things other than the sport they were hired to play, um, focused on social issues, which I don't have a problem with anyone protesting or focusing on a social issue outside of the actual Olympic Games. Keep it about the games. When it comes to all sports, I'm not in favor of any type of political or social protest. Even if it's some that I do personally agree with, I'm not in favor of any of that during the actual games. That is not why anyone is tuning in to watch the sport. You don't watch the Olympics to watch you engage in political or social activism. No one watches the Olympics for that very purpose. So why are you doing it? <laughs> but in this particular Olympic Games, um, the rules have been relaxed to a degree. So the rules have been more relaxed when it comes to engaging in protests um, before and after the games, which if that's what you wanna do, that's what you wanna do. But it looks bad when you're focused on things outside of your actual sport, and then you end up taking an L. You did the activism, but you failed at doing your actual job. And like I said, when it comes to you taking a knee, what does that do for anybody? Seriously. And I want people to ask, ask people that are in support of this, just go ahead and ask them, hey, so um, who does it help when you take a knee? Who, who does that help? How does it help? And if you ask them that, they'll probably get upset because they know that what they're doing is uh, in my opinion is mostly just virtue signaling they're not they know they're not actually engaging in real activism they know that they're not doing that they're really just just engaging in symbolic gestures that ultimately don't further your cause one iota and to be fair the women's u.s soccer team they're not the only one that has engaged in political or social activism but when you're going to do so you got to make sure you come out with that W. You got to make sure you come out with a win at least because damn, you took a knee and then you took that L right after. And the U.S. women's soccer team is the same team that previously all wore BLM jerseys. And it's my belief that a lot of people that have thrown support behind BLM, they haven't even done their own independent research on BLM. They've never read over their impact report. They never have dug into what other agendas they have going on that they aren't really disclosing publicly. Not to mention how little they've actually done besides enrich some individuals, despite how much money they've received in donations, upwards of 90 million in the year of 2020 alone. And just to give you all a bit more details about this L, the U.S. women's soccer team took a devastating 3-0 loss to Sweden early Wednesday morning in their Tokyo Olympic opener, breaking their 44-game winning streak. Man, 44 straight wins. 
and y'all took an L when you were favored for the gold. All 22 players on the Team USA took a knee in solidarity with the radical leftist group BLM before the game, a major point of contention with US fans. Yeah, I understand because BLM is uh, a straight up far left Marxist organization with agendas that are not being uh, fully advertised to the masses. You have to do some digging yourself. I've spoken about this many times. US came into the Tokyo games with the number one ranking in the world. Sweden is ranked fifth in the world and notably knocked out Team USA on penalty kicks in the 2016 Olympics in the quarterfinals. The two teams last paired off in April, which resulted in a 1-1 draw, the only game the US women had not won since January 2019. As noted by Yahoo Sports, athletes at the Tokyo Olympics were given space to protest before games and events. Team USA knelt before their kickoff just as players on Sweden's women's team did. So one of the Swedish players, Amanda um, Illestead, she went on and stated, for us it really feels right to stand up for human rights. I don't understand how uh, what's really being accomplished again by taking a knee what is really being accomplished besides you virtue signaling? What's really being accomplished by that? It was a communication with the US team before, so for us, it feels good to do that, and it is something we stand for as a team. Women's soccer players from Great Britain and New Zealand kneel too, just as Team USA and the Swedish, according to Rudders. But I'm curious what you guys think about this whole thing. Make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button, and blessings to you.